Okay, so this is my second video vlog. The first one was kind of just my. Ooh, my laptop's moving. My first rant. I've always seen people do these like video blog things and they talk to themselves and they. Sometimes it's really interesting, sometimes I really suck at it. I probably am going to really suck at it, but I don't really care because it's kind of for me. But, um. So. When I was in high school, I was told by my friend's mom that I that high school wasn't for me. Mind you, I went to Groton High School, and I hated my life, and I was very depressed. I was told that I should drop out of high school and get my GED. Well, since thankfully, I have good parents. They didn't happen. They said, you know, we've heard about this new charter school, New Roots Charter School. I think that you should go to it. Um, I kind of was like, you know, whatever gets me away from Groton. And I didn't really know what New Roots was about, but I didn't care. I said, you either get me into that school now, or I will drop out of school. That was the only choices. I either go to New Roots. Or I drop out and get my GED. At this point, New Roots sound like a pretty good option. I remember when I left Groton, I think I had like 10 lunch attentions that I was like, I'm leaving. I'm not going to these. So I just, obviously, I went to New Roots and it was like, I think it was like a two day decision. Best two day decision of my life. And. I remember, it's funny, I remember my health teacher saying, oh, you're going to go to New Roots? We'll have a seat right here for you, waiting, because everyone who goes to New Roots always comes back to grind. I don't know why anyone in the right mind, if they had a decision to go to New Roots, would go back to grind. I mean, really? No. It's ridiculous. But, so then, I went and I was with my cousin who I didn't see for a very very long time but she helped me and my friend Nicole and my cousin who was Heidi and they showed me a lot of amazing people that just like inspired me to be a great person and, it, and they actually showed me including the teachers and just these random people that I met they, they showed me that not all people are cruel, you know, I, I came from Groton and everyone was mean, I only had a few, maybe three people that were even nice to me, yeah sure maybe the teachers were nice but they really weren't nothing great, but then I went to New Roots and I just, these just people, it was like nothing you could ever describe, I just, I guess it's kind of like when you're being like, when you're being rescued or something people you just couldn't understand how it feels to finally find somewhere pretty much where you belong and then you know not being so happy just every day to wake up to go to school and not ever wanting to miss any classes because you know that you're always going to be welcomed and to just walk in every day in school and know that you're not going to get in a fight you know when I left to Groton I was getting into a fight all the time whether whether it's verbally physically or even with a teacher I was always fighting and then I went to New Roots and it was just like it, it like you know gave me ins inspiration and it like inspired me to do great things and treat people how they should be treated and treat animals and be different and don't con don't do what everyone else is doing and you know, I think that it, if it wasn't, I don't know if it was always, I think that it was always within me to be that, but I was just in the wrong, dark, bad, small town, small minded people, and I was just surrounded by them, that I just didn't know how to be this person that I should have been the whole time, and you know, I used to say that, and then I went to high school, and I was like, you know, I'm going to graduate high school, and I'm not going to go to college. I don't need college. Why would I go to college? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to, I don't know, work on a horse farm my whole life. I said that. Cause I knew I loved it. I've always loved animals. I've always loved horses, and that's what my background was. I'll just work on a horse farm my whole life.
mucking stalls. You know, I got inspired by a couple, I don't want to say names, but a couple really amazing people and teachers that just inspired me that I was so much better than that and that I should go to college and do something great in my life and somehow change something that's wrong. I remember they only I, these things that they used to push me to do. I hated. I would get so mad. I would I would throw a fit and I'd go to sleep and I would just talk back and I was like, I'm not gonna do this work. I don't want to do this. I just, just want to finish high school. I just want to go home. I just want to see my boyfriend. I just want to mess around, you know. And then after all that, after people pushed me and told me, you know, do better and I did, it just I don't know I just don't know if it was if it wasn't for them and certain people in my life if I wouldn't be here in this town that I am now in this college that I am now doing something that I believe is what was meant for me to do but it was within me the whole time I just didn't realize it but they pushed me and it was a lot of freaking hard work I did not want to do it, but then I apply. I was gonna go to TC3. I swear to God, I was gonna go to TC3. I was gonna stay here. I was gonna stay here with my boyfriend and my horses and stay right in, grotten, live and work and do everything that everyone else does that comes from that area. I'm not dissing on TC3, I'm just saying that it's being, it's like you're being stuck. You don't realize what it's like in the real world, but meeting new people that you've never met before, being in an entire new town, an entire new college, where you walk and no one knows you. No one. You know what that means when no one knows you? It means you can make a new impression on them. You, they don't have this, oh, I remember you in kindergarten, you were you were this way or that way. This is a whole new set of people that you were able to show maybe who you really are and then you know that's exactly what happened is I went to New Roots and then I got and then oh and then I was gonna go finally and then I did ex okay so I got to I applied to TC3 let me back up my story a little bit I'm getting too ahead of myself I applied to TC3 and I applied to Dell High because I was like, oh, I'll do vet tech. And it, I can go through TC3 if I want because they have a program set up. And then I was, because I was in 4-H, so I did the whole Cobalt Scale trip. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to apply to Cobalt Scale just to see if I can get in. Just to see, because I told everyone I wasn't going to leave. I was just going to apply and go to TC3. You know, I didn't get a I didn't get accepted to Dell High. And there's probably a reason for that. But when I got accepted to Cobalt Scale, I actually cried. I don't know why. It was just kind of like I don't know. I felt like that was where I was supposed to be, you know. That was like my dream school and I didn't at the time I was going through a really bad breakup, which I've been through way too many times as we all know but yeah so then I, I was like you know what hell with this I'm gonna get out of this town and that's exactly what I did I got out of that town I sent in all my information and I said I figured everything out what I was going to do with my horses. I got in, a, I got in this summer program. I actually left to go to Cold Scale early and spent five weeks. Oh, it was terrible. No, no, no one that I knew, no animals. I think that was the biggest thing. No horses for five weeks. It was like boot camp. But, you know, it got me started off on the right foot. But now I'm here. I'm a sophomore. I was coming here for two year equine program. I ended up deciding that I wanted to do four year bachelors and um, 
I really don't think I would be be here, like I said, if it wasn't for the people in my life that pushed me, that they knew that it was in me the whole time, and now, now sometimes my dreams kind of scare me, because I want to, I want to do something really great, you know, I want to do something really great, I just haven't figured out what I want to do yet with this something great, just, I just have to keep dreaming and just keep going to college and keep learning and being inspired to be different every day I guess you know who cares what they think they're no better than anyone else and you just have to be your own person you know grow up yeah well that felt good to get it all off my chest okay bye <laughs>